What's wrong with celebrating Halloween as a Muslim? Every year on evening of October 31st, millions of children across North America paint their faces dressed up in costume and go door to door in order to collect their treats. The adults often decorate their house with ghostly figures, carve scary faces on pumpkins, and put candles in them. Uh, they create, you know, what you call jack-o'-lantern. Unfortunately, millions of North Americans is partaking a custom that is pagan. The modern ritual of the Halloween contains many aspects of innocent fun and entertainment, especially for children. Dressing up in these costumes, getting candy from your neighbor, getting to carve pumpkins. There is nothing wrong with these acts, which is why many Muslims participate in the rituals. But there is another aspect of Halloween that revolves around witchcraft and black magic, evil and superstition. It's common just as witches, vampires, demons, zombies, and even Satan. School classrooms and work offices adorned with these cobwebs and spiders. Some creative residents decorate their lawns and fake coffins and corpses hang human skeletons from their doors. Most people stop to question why these things associated with Halloween, but Muslims are not supposed to be like most people. Islam doesn't encourage them to think and uh, question, reflect uh, why people are doing it. Why are they dressing up in this custom like this? Where did the idea trick or treat come from? Why are pumpkins mostly neglected throughout the whole entire year but become prevalent during the Halloween season. Who came up with this bobbing for apples? Do you know one of uh, the quarter of all candy sold annually in the US is purchased just for Halloween? Let me tell you about the history of Halloween. Researching origins of Halloween reveals a lot of interesting uh, history. Halloween faces its history back in the ancient Celtic festivals of Samhain. The Celts lived in around modern day Ireland about 2000 years ago, celebrated their new year on November 1st on the last day of the year, October 31st. They believed that the dead spirits returned to the world so their priests would light huge bonfires where people would make sacrifices to their gods. Later, the Romans uh, conquered the Celtics territory around 43 CE. They were also pagans and had two festivals, one uh, to commemorate uh, the passing dead in late October and the other to honor uh, Pomona, the Roman goddess uh, of the fruit. Two celebrations eventually merged with the day of Samhain. I'll catch you in the next episode.